Y'all better tighten up. What's up, guys? Live Titan Lifestyle with Big Drew. John's on vacation. I got him in the back. He couldn't be here, but he's here. Let's get it. We're ready to go. We got brand new topics for you today. We got a brand new location in downtown Channelside. Brand new equipment. We're ready to go. Ready to get it. You guys want to say what's up to John? What's up, guys? How you guys doing, man? Anywhere I'm at, you know I'm always going to tune in Fridays and Tuesdays. Yep. Especially with a big two on the Titan Lifestyle. We got a lot of things to cover with you guys today. I hope you're excited. Hi, people. Say what's up to Sharice, guys. Even on vacation, we're still making it happen. Just like I told you guys before. When I go out of town, I'm still here for you guys. When he goes out of town, he's still here for you guys. We got new topics today. The first one, a new location. You guys, we're on Channel Side Drive. Huge facility across the street from the aquarium. We're still setting up over here. We're getting a lot of painting done. We're gonna have it all finalized. We're gonna brand new reservations. This place is fucking huge, guys. All kinds of rooms. We got dental, we got laser, we got light pole, we got everything. We got a we got a um, employee lounge. We got a beautiful uh, waiting room with chandeliers and nice leather couches for you guys can come down and hang out. Beautiful location. Make sure you check it out. John, you got anything you want to say about the new location? Anything else going on? Oh man, yeah, man. So cutting edge therapies with a dynamic cutting edge facility. Oh so yeah. We're gonna have so many new therapies and services for people there. Plus, it's just going to be another step up in luxury, and we're going to be doing a lot, lot of other things. So, get ready, guys. That's all I can say. I mean, the, the people that have seen it, they already know. So, once the other people do see it, and we have that grand opening, it's going to be open to the yeah. world. So, at that point, get ready, guys. I was very, very impressed when I came down here, guys. I'm still impressed. We took up the whole block. So, when you guys come to Channel Side, we go from one street all the way to the other. Whole big building, so there's going to be all kinds of new stuff going on for you guys. But let's get right to these topics, guys. The first topic, pharmaceutical grade versus underground. I hear a lot of people talking about, you know, testosterone replacement therapy, hormone replacement therapy, and they say that it's too expensive, and they say they can do it elsewhere on their own. The reason why I'm telling you not to do that, guys, is because... If you buy stuff that's not from a U.S.-based pharmacy, you are basically playing Russian roulette. You don't know what you're putting in your body. The oil that they use could be bad oils. It can make you not up. It could not be sterile. The product might not be what it's supposed to be. If it's testosterone sipinate, it might not be testosterone sipinate. It might be nandrolone or it might be something else. So if you ladies or guys are taking certain things, you want to make sure you're getting the right stuff in your body. Also, if you're not getting your blood work done and you're taking underground stuff, again, it's like Russian roulette. You don't know where your levels are at. You don't know what you're putting into your body. So get your money, get your money's worth, get your blood work done. Make sure everything is coming from a U.S. pharmacy, pharmaceutical grade like we do here at Titan. Believe me, you guys, it's, it's, it's well worth it. I was just like you. I was doing the underground route. Should never have done that. Worst decision I ever made in my life. When I first went and got my blood work done, guys, my testosterone level was only a 408. Now, you guys know bodybuilding. You guys know testosterone levels. You know blood work, how it works. If someone that's already taken testosterone sipinate, supposed to be testosterone sipinate, is a 408, that means that that testosterone sipinate was not really testosterone sipinate. So a lot of you guys have been getting your... Getting your, getting your um, Get your testosterone, your other anabolics, or even if they're not anabolics, from, from a guy you know at the gym, or you know, I've been going to him for years, this and that, you may be getting results because it might be something else, but you don't really know exactly what it is you're putting in your body, guys. I mean, I can't stress it enough. I, I, I push people away that used to tell me that for years. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's cheaper, it's cheaper, it's cheaper. I feel a lot better now, guys. My blood level's good. My estrogen's good. I feel great. It's a huge, huge difference. So make sure you guys go with pharmaceutical grade. Get your blood work done. Do it the right way. It's going to save you money. And health is, you know, your health is your wealth. Your health is your wealth. So you want, you want to be healthy. You don't want to take something and have your arm explode up like Valentino, the guy on the internet, and have to get your arm amputated or have to get pieces of your muscle removed so now there's no coming back you have deformities it's really not worth it guys for like 56 for like 50 60 dollars difference to have your bicep taken off come on no brainer no brainer you got anything you, you know, think want to touch on it really look at just that factor i mean if you get an infection like you said they can cut out some muscle think about the medical bills you're going to incur 
how much that's going to cost yeah. you. Because now these hospitals are suing people and they're actually going on credit to get defaults on them. So wow. you're going to judge on you. are going to have to pay it back and they're going to have to garnish you either way. Yeah. And like they said, you really don't know what you're getting. I mean, you know, even if your bro says, hey, listen, this is the best stuff ever, he really doesn't know if like, he's making it, I guess. And then where is he making it at? You know? Yeah, yeah. That, that's the big thing that people have to really think about in their mind. I mean, listen, for the 40 or 50 bucks it's going to save you, I mean, this is going to save you the time, it's going to save you money, and it's going to give you better results. It's all about quality over quantity. So, I mean, just like you and me, right? Before I got into this a long, long time ago, I would go to my guy in the gym and I would say, hey, listen, how do I get big? What do I do? What, what, you know, what is it? You know, right. What's the secret? You know, he'd tell me what to do and stuff like that, but I'll tell you, you never know. It's never consistent. There's right. nobody monitoring you. Like you said, blood. I know guys that tell me to this day that they're pro bodybuilders and say, I really don't want to get my blood checked because I'm scared of what I'm going to see. Right, That's right. That's itself to even hear, man. Right. I mean, at least if you, if you find it in the beginning stages, you can do something about it and really help your health. Mm. You know, because after bodybuilding or modeling or whatever the hell you're going to do, you got to get up out of bed. you got to be healthy to do that or else you might be in a hospital bed or dying right. or need a liver transplant or a kidney transplant mm. or have dialysis, which is not cool, man. Mm. It's an 18-gauge in arm. I think it's bigger than that. The what? Engage in arm for dialysis. Uh, yeah, that's like that's like a number two that's like a number two pencil going in your arm, guys. You don't want that <laughs> way too big. Another thing too to touch base with what John's talking about, you guys. I hear a lot of guys say, "Oh, well, I'll buy it somewhere else and I'll wait, you know, three to four weeks till I see the result. Then I'll know it's real." Why are you gonna go? Why are you gonna go a whole month hoping that it's real? What if it's not? You just wasted your money. Why not get quality U.S. based pharmacy stuff? From the beginning, that way you know it's real, so you don't have to work. I hear that all the time. Guys are like, "Yeah, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna give it four to six weeks to try it out to see if it's real." You're really yeah. buying stuff to test it to see if it's real? Like, I, it just doesn't make any sense. I, I don't know. Like, you know you're wasting your money. Think about is legality issues too, Drew. Mm. And I know this for a fact. I know people have got pulled over. Yeah. With, you know, on black market testosterone in their car and have got arrested for this. Right. And it's a felony. It's a controlled substance at that point. Mm. And, you know, I mean, we talk about it. A lot of people talk about it very openly on the ground and what they're getting and stuff like that. But, hey, listen, it's just like marijuana to an extent. It's still federally illegal to right. do it to have a possession. The other thing I want to warn you guys about, there's a lot of guys who might be in this situation, and I get this all the time, that they're with their significant other and they tell a significant other everything they do, and if they're getting these black market steroids or underground steroids, when there's a fight, a breakup, or a divorce, that wife or significant other knows about it, and they use it as leverage, especially if they have kids, mm. and they go to their lawyer and they say, hey, listen, he's doing testosterone, he's doing illegal steroids. Yeah. And then they will, they will order a court-ordered testosterone test on them, which will then prove that he's doing it, and then at that point in front of the judge, you might get your kid taken away. They might do other things to you. So at that point, I was not aware of that. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that. That's that's yeah, I wasn't aware of that. Think that's crazy. It. Yeah, because you guys, you, you guys know I I travel a lot. So when I travel, I can have it right in my. I don't even have to put it in my check-on bag. I can have my stuff right in my carry-on. I have everything. I have all my tight stuff, my therapies, and my toiletry bag. As soon as I go through check-in, I love to prove people wrong. Like I love the proof. I love when I'm going through checkout and they say, what's this? And they open it up and I stand right there and I say, that's mine. Here's my ID. Everything's in my name. Shut up. Let me get on this plane. It's the best feeling, guys. You don't have to worry about anything. You can have it with you in your car. You can have it in broad daylight. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest keeping your testosterone sipidate in the sunlight in the car. You want to keep it out of the sunlight. But just, you know what I'm saying? It could be, in, it could be sitting on your dash. And, and the cop could pull you over. It could be sitting right there. It could be loaded up into a syringe in your cup holder with the alcohol prep pads ready to go. All you have to have is your ID and have the bottle with your name on it. You're good to go. No worries. I mean, None. You, you, can, you can literally inject right in your car. I wouldn't suggest it. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Like, nobody <laughs> okay. say anything about it. There's nothing illegal right. against it. There's nothing that's going to you know cause you, you know, to not operate equipment or anything right. like that or drive a car. So at that point, it's totally legal and that's definitely the way to go. It will save people. I'm telling you, I've had these calls over the years. I don't know how many. Yeah. I can't even count yeah. on that subject. And not even and just, not even just, with, yeah, and not even just with injectables, 
guys, like, you know, we're talking about testosterone recipient injectables. Even if it's something that's a tablet, something that's oral, something that's a pill, whether it's an ECA cap or whether it's MK677 or any of the other cap capsules or tablets that we have, I mean, it could be anything. It's not just injectable stuff that we're talking about. It could be anything prescription related. So whether it's for your whether it's for your kidneys, whether it's for your heart, whether it's for your blood pressure, whether it's to gain muscle, lose muscle. If it's doctor prescribed, you're good to go. No worries, none. I mean, yep. you literally could have it in your pocket. You can carry it in your hand at the airport as you're walking through. I mean, you can do whatever you want. It's so much easier. I know guys that conceal their, conceal the stuff a certain way when they travel. They have to wrap it up. And now this is this is one thing you have to be careful about. A lot of people will open up their testosterone sipinate and put it into something else that's oil, like say a vitamin E container or like anything else. What they do is they put it in there just to trans just to transfer it to where they're going. Now you're risking infection because you have an open bottle that you're dumping one bottle into the vitamin E thing because it has the same texture, and then now it's a whole, I mean, it's, it's, it's problems. Make sure you have a prescription. Make sure you get your blood work done. Do it the right way so you know you're getting the right stuff. Yeah, I mean, especially with blood work, guys. We do nationwide blood work for everybody. We can mm -hmm. carte one test. We can do full panels. We can go beyond those full panels. Mm -hmm. and it's real simple and easy. All you got to do is call or text 727. 393220 or we can set you up nationwide males, females, whatever you guys need. So yeah, man, that, that's, a, that's a great, great topic. I'm glad you brought it up, Drew. That sounds good. Alright, next topic, guys. Everybody's talking about the vegan craze. Vegan this, <laughs> vegan that. Yeah. Everybody's vegan now. I'm even seeing guys that are Yeah, I'm even guys. I'm even, even seeing guys that are strongman competitors trying the vegan thing. And it's like the new thing now, you'll feel better, you won't be bloated, this and that. I'm not sure if I believe all of it, but I'll tell you what, next month I'm actually going to give it a try just to see. I'm not sure how long I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep you guys updated in about a month or so. I'm going to do the vegan thing. I'm going to try it for one week, maybe two. I don't think I'm going to be able to go over a week. As soon as I start losing weight, I'm going to be depressed. But I'm going to do it just to prove a point because everybody's talking about this vegan stuff. I know Kai Green is vegan now. But the crazy thing about Kai Green is he used to be with Carnivore, which was beef protein. And he used to right. be in the magazines with a big steak eating the beef protein. Oh, yeah. Now he's eating lettuce and mushrooms. and you know. <laughs> so, I mean, he says it's working out good for him. But one thing, shout out to Kai Green too. One thing that Kai Green did say is he says he's sweating twice as much as he ever has off of the vegan, which I'm surprised, because I figured it'd be the opposite. Wait, wait, um, wait. So, let's just back this up a little bit. Yeah. Listen, Kai's great competitor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he was selling carnivore before, and now he's selling plant-based proteins. Yes. And now he's a vegan. So, I mean... I'll, see, I'm not sure if he's a full-fledged vegan, but he said he's trying out the vegan thing right now, just to see what it happens. Right. So, yeah, man. I, yeah. Listen, I, I, listen, I mean... Medical professionals are starting to pick that movie apart and what they were doing and how they're being biased in that movie. What so movie was that? Remember. And then Game let's bring this topic up because this 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 line has been getting used a lot from that movie. Right. And I even thought something good about this line. That power lifter that was doing that amazing amount of weight he was doing, right? He's all vegan. Well he said that you know, what is an oxy? And obviously, you know, they eat grass and shit like that, and that's how they get yeah. so big. But he didn't mention anything about a lion or a shark. What about a great white? Yeah. We're talking about the top predators in the world. Right. What do they eat? Right. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, too, genetically, I mean, genetically, we're not animals. So when people compare it to animals, I know a lot of times people compare it to silverback gorillas because they're so big and powerful and lean, have a lot of muscle, and they, they only eat vegetables. But those are gorillas. We're not gorillas. There's a big difference. Genetics, yeah, there's a big difference, you know. When you're a, a gorilla is like a genetic, like, I mean, it's it's almost like it could probably eat, drink water and still be that big. Okay. And we're not so, the same. I mean, let, let's go back even further then, Drew, you know, for mm. these people that are naysayers about this. Let's yeah. go back to the dinosaurs. Right. Well, the biggest dinosaurs were herbivores. They were right. not carnivores. Okay? Right. Brontosaurus. But the carnivores yeah. were the most fiercest ones out there. T-Rex, raptors, and these guys were vicious carnivores that ate meat. Right. So you really got to just look at that. And back in the day, listen, they said, you know, uh, well, the only reason these tools survived and we thought that um, that these cavemen were just carnivores is because these tools were, you know, they were round and they, they were stronger structure-wise. That's where they helped right, them. Right. But it's a fact, man. They did eat meat. Yeah. They used fire to, to eat meat. So at right. that point, there's a little bias in there. I really, I am very shocked to hear you say you're going to go on the vegan diet. 
No, I'm not going. I'm gonna try it out. I'm not gonna become a vegan. No, no, no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I don't want to be known as medium Drew. I want to be big Drew. I don't want to be medium Drew. I don't. I don't want to be little Drew. No. I'm trying it out because I'm always experiment. You guys know whether it's supplementation, whether it's workouts or diet. I don't just like to read it. I actually actually do it. If, even if it's something I don't want to do, I'll do it just to prove a point. I don't care about how much books you've read. I don't care about how many degrees you've had. If it doesn't work, you know, I, so I'm going to try it out. Like, again, I'm going to try to go a week. I'm going to try to go a week, see how it goes. But I'm just going to see how I feel. I just want to know what it's about. I'm not going to stay vegan. I'm going to tell you that. I'm not going to stay vegan. The only reason I'm doing this is just to see how my body reacts to it and to basically to prove a point. That's pretty I'm much it. Yeah, that's pretty much guy, it. So yeah, that's pretty I, much I, it. I'm too true for that one again. Right, for right. Sure. Well, this brings me to one of my topics here, and we're going to talk about it. So this is a big one. This is a saying I say to people all the time. And it's basically acceleration is nothing without traction. Mm. You can have all the power, all the, the torque, everything in the world, but if you don't have traction, a.k.a. that car, or you are not going anywhere, mm. or you're going to go so far out of control because how fast you're going without the traction, without the control. Mm. So whatever you're doing, you want to have the momentum, you want to have the motivation, but make sure you're guided on track about what you're going to do. It's being laser focused in one thing before you move on to another. Mm. A lot of people make that mistake, and I've seen it very commonly, and especially where I'm at right now in some of the business things, and I know you guys are seeing it around me, where some of these people or things are not have any traction. Great momentum, great movement, but no traction, and mm. we'll hit a wall, blank. Right on. Yeah. For sure. Wow. That's a good one. I've never heard of that one. That's right. That's a good one. Yeah. Without crashing. Yep. You ain't nothing. Those wheels ain't sticking the ground. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah, it's like having a plan without purpose. You know, kind That's of, it, kind man. of goes with the same you can't thing. Do it. Yeah, it's good. You can't do it. It's good. You know, and you know, I mean, tricks to training on vacation or business trips. So, if I travel, I usually have to look for the gym that I have there, and usually have some. Some sort of equipment, right? Some sort of dumbbells, I mm. guess. You gotta create the workout, whether it's higher volume because they don't have the weight. Because I know you, I know you like to travel, and at that point, yeah. you know, you gotta have more heavier weight, right? Yeah, yeah, I gotta have heavy weight, or I just gotta make do with what I have. So, I mean, right. find a way to so, make the lightweight heavier. Yeah, I mean, even tricks, I mean, if they don't have a gym, I mean, I'm doing push ups, sit ups, yeah. uh, you know, inverted push ups, deep spine push ups if I can get a chair for my feet up. You know, and just try to work every possible thing I can at that mm. point do as many as possible. So I mean, what, do, what do you do, Drew? If there's no gym there, if there's no, if there's no, way. if there's no gym, I uh, I can't remember the last time I was travel with no gym. Well, actually, in West Palm, I went to West Palm to compete about a week and a half ago. I travel a lot. West Palm Beach has the worst gym scene of any scene of any city I've ever been to in my entire life. All they had was, really? they don't have any grungy gyms. All they have is the LA Fitness and the Crunch. The LA Fitness was across the street from the hotel I was at. It looked like a library. It was quiet. The look they gave me when I walked in, I literally just left. I went to LA Fitness, walked in, looked around. I was like, I can't work out. Left, grabbed the Uber, went to Crunch, went to Crunch, looked around. They, this, the look they were giving me was just weird. It was, I left. I ended up going back to the hotel, and I chose the hotel gym over Crunch and LA Fitness. Just because I didn't like the environment, I didn't like the, I didn't like the way it felt. But what I do if there's no gym, I basically just do dips, push-ups, slow. You know, I count you count five seconds down, five seconds up. I basically yeah. just get a pump in whatever way I can. Or if I have a gallon jug, because I always I always have gallon jugs in the hotel because it's never any water. So I take a couple gallon jugs and just do some dumbbells, curls, or whatever, just high reps. Just do do like four or five burnout sets, even if it's 40, 50 reps, just to get the yeah. blood in there, just get get for my sanity, pretty much. But um. Most hotel, most hotels have at least twenty-five or fifty-pound dumbbells, though. You can work usually, with. Yeah, yeah, usually you're going to see around yeah. twenty-five to fifteen. You can do a lot with them, yeah, you know, for sure. And usually have like an all-in-one machine. You know, you can try yeah, stuff, yeah. biceps there, pull up, and stuff yeah. like that. You know, I've been to some where they're not worth the, worth the damn. Excuse my language, but at that point, like even in the room, I'll find like chairs, and then you pick up the chair and you curl up with the chairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, All you guys, you guys Google, Google prison workouts and you guys will find, if you Google prison workouts or look on YouTube, these guys in prison, they come up with pretty, pretty interesting stuff to get a workout on with towels and just their body weight. So 
You can make it happen. Just gotta figure out a way to make. Man. Yeah, you can make way, make find a way to make it happen. Definitely Absolutely, good. Absolutely, bro. You want yeah. it, you'll do anything you can to get it. You exactly. Know? That's where it comes into this. Yeah. If you're, you're truly ecstatic and, and you know enthusiastic about working out or getting that activity or getting that training, you're gonna find. Yeah, I mean, pull up, pull ups, push ups, and dips pretty much works the full body. You're getting a little bit of yep. bicep, you're getting a little bit of lat, you're getting a little tricep, everything. So I mean, and if you just do a superset, like if you do if you do pull ups, find anything. You could off the banister, you could find something to do a pull up off of. So just do like ten pull ups, twenty push ups, twenty dips, and just do that rotation three or four times. You'll have a pretty good pump. You know, have a pretty good pump. Yeah. Especially that Hercules. I mean, that Hercules is gonna give you a pump regardless after your first set. So I mean, it definitely oh, definitely sure. helps. Yeah. But again, guys, when I was talking about the vegan thing, vegan, vegan, vegan. That brings me up into fine food that works for you. Um, I hear a lot of people always doing the, the typical chicken breast, broccoli, rice, this and that. Find food that works for you. Find a diet, stick to it for, for, I'd say, six to eight weeks consistently without any breaks. If your stomach feels funny, just tough it out and work through it. A lot of times... Your digestion is not used to the food you're putting into it. So once you put something new, it's like changing soaps or lotions. Your skin breaks out at first, but after a while it gets used to you. Your stomach is the same way. So if you guys have sensitivity to broccoli or chicken or even certain types of lactose, eat it, try to work through it, and a lot of times it'll go away, and a probiotic enzyme helps a lot too. But find food that works for you. With me, I can't do chicken. Oh yeah, yeah. We have a we have a new blood test too guys, for food allergies, guys. So if you guys have allergy to to gluten or allergy to potatoes or allergy to bananas, you know I heard people have allergies to bananas. You might be eating bananas, saying you don't know why it's messing with your stomach, and then now you know you can, you can fix that too. Yeah. Sharice yeast. She's on, she she has allergic sensitivity to yeast and bananas. Yeah. That's crazy. And yes. she knew. She was like, yeah. She was like, it did make my, my body feel weird. So yeah. you know, it ain't even guessing anymore. And I'm gonna stick to it. Blood tests. You know, right away. You can dial in that. And that's where it is. Yeah, I get, a, I get my stomach feels a little funny off banana. I used to always do the bananas with my shakes and the oatmeal. I, I gave away with the bananas. Now I just do. Well, I don't do it now, but normally I do strawberries in place of bananas or blueberries because the bananas was making me feel funny. I don't know if. I might have something with that too, but yeah. Fine food that works for you. Tests, we're gonna see. Oh yeah, a lot of times people can have cheese, other people can't, or milk, other people can't. You know, don't believe what you read. Try it out for yourself. I mean, don't try anything that's crazy. Don't injure yourself. Don't poison yourself. But try it out for yourself before you start reading on it. You know, before you start reading on it. You got anything else, John? Any topics? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. What do we got? We're gonna keep going on. Move it up. So let's talk about time complete. Titan Complete's a therapy of the week this week, Drew, so I thought I'd bring it up in the Titan Lifestyle. Okay. Because I use it. I know you use it. A lot of other people oh, yeah. do because it's one of my top amino blend vitamin therapies out there. It's the Edge Titan Medical Center. Mm. So Titan Complete, what's the best thing about it? The best thing is, is it has mint, which is methanine, astoxylene, and choline. It also has your three branch chain amino acids, leucine, leucine, and valine. And you have your B-complex in there with L-carnitine. The reason that this is such a great mixture is this. The mint is gonna help you with weight loss. It's also gonna help you process fats faster with the liver, okay? Also, you got the B-complex with energies and all the essentials that you need from the B-complex, right? But the three branch chain amino acids are essential. That means that your body needs them. So you have to either get this from an outside source, which is food, right? Food's a big one. But we know that a lot of people, we know that at least Half the population in the United States doesn't get the right nutrition anyways. Mm. So they'll be missing out on some of these things, right? Mm. So what does the other part of the population do? We know that a lot of bodybuilders or people that are enthusiastic about the gym or just want to supplement correctly are drinking powders. Yeah. And we also know that going through the gastro tract, you're breaking down the liver, you're probably getting only 20% and I'm being very generous to those guys. At that point, with doing the injectable, you're getting all the bang for the buck with all those different things. You're getting a higher absorbency rate and faster transportation rate, which is going to equate to a better result all the way around of what you're getting. Absorption and your results of whatever trainer activities you're doing. And getting these things will help performance in a lot of different ways. So some people just want it for health, or weight loss, recovery, or some people want them for actual performance. And that's where this injectable really comes into play. It can be taken with all the other injectables. It doesn't require blood work. 
It only requires you to fill out your patient paperwork, see the medical provider. At that point, you can do time complete and you can use this with Hercules Bosium. Where time complete is usually taken in the morning because of the great natural energy effect from just a B complex and you're getting all those other things with it. Plus, you're not carrying around a shaker all day and drinking it and feeling bloated or having to feel it, you know, taste this, yeah. you know, blue raspberry or cotton candy or whatever it is. <laughs> that blue rabbit gets old. Okay. That blue tongue is right. annoying. <laughs> You know, they get sick yeah. or they get acid reflex wrong. I know people tell me all the time, you know, it's because you're drinking all these other things that are in there too, right? Mm. So you have additives and stuff like that. Where in the injectable, it's just what's in the injectable. There's no additives or anything else. Right. You're not even going to get that effect of, you know, uh, feel like you're puking or the acid reflex effect mm. that a lot of people do get or having to go to the bathroom a million times because of what they're drinking. Yeah. So that's the big, the big, big thing with Titan Complete, guys. So I wanted to cover that. The next thing, since we're rolling out into this, let's talk about growth hormone levels or IGF-1. A lot of people, they want growth hormone or they want IGF-1 levels to be high. So they either go after growth hormone, which they usually can't get from a doctor because they're not hardly gonna prescribe them, that's a serious reason. You might find one out there, here or there, but very rare, right? Or they're going after the peptide, which are both releasing hormones like semarelin, CJC-1295, and K677 like you're taking, uh, and a couple other ones. Now, there is a thing. So when we talk about growth hormone, we talk about what growth hormone is. And growth hormone is a 191 amino acid sequence. So what that means is, is that it's a sequence of amino acids of 191. And it's in a specific sequence where it creates an effect in the body. Now. The different things that create the sequence are made up of some of the main ones. So we're talking about arginine, L-citrulline. We're talking about like, I mean, your essential, essential ones. So in these, arginine and L-citrulline specifically are precursors to raising natural growth hormones. And we do know this because we have seen a lot of people in blood tests raise these levels just by taking these amino acid blends. So it is possible raise your levels, IGF-1 levels, or growth hormone levels, by taking sequence of amino acid injectables. So that's another benefit that people lack to see, but that's a fact. That's great, that's a good one, guys. You heard that, that they will actually increase your natural growth hormone levels, and I'm wondering why I'm feeling bigger and leaner by the day, even before I started my diet, and that might have to do with it, because I was taking the MK677 and the Hercules and the oh, Titan Complete, yeah. And I was hungry all the time, I was eating all the time, but I was just getting bigger and leaner. I, I couldn't believe it. Another thing too is we got people asking, you said you can take the, the Hercules potion with the complete. Is it possible, we have people asking, is it possible to take one ml of Hercules, one ml of complete, and one ml of glutathione all in the same spot, in the same syringe to inject at once? Can you mix glutathione, can you mix them half and half? Or does it have to be separate injections from your Hercules? So, no, no, you, you can mix it half and half, okay? okay. That's not a problem. So you, you know, this was common because glutathione cold can feel a little stingy going in. Right. So, at that point, to take off some of that sting, you can mix it with some Titan Complete or B12. Yeah, chase it a little bit. Right, went. right. And you get half of that dose and then half of the glutathione. So, at that point, if somebody was going to do that per se with a 200 milligram per ml of glutathione straight, they would pull half the syringe to 50 units on the insulin syringe, which would give them 100 milligrams of glutathione. Mm -hmm. And then, whether it be tight and complete or whatever, they have right. the motion, they'll get half the doses of that okay. as well. Because I know you could, I know you could blend the Hercules with the with the uh, complete. That's what I do. I, I do it's half. All water -based. Yeah, I do half and half. So I always, yeah, I always do half and half. I do my complete half half ml complete, half ml of Hercules. I like to split it up like that. But I had people asking about the glutathione too, because I like to just do it all at once. And for some reason, I like to have everything mixed up and just separately. So that's good. You can mix them again, guys, too, because the glutathione, it doesn't give you a lump. When you, when you hear John say that it gives you a little bit of a sting, it's not a sting like an oil-based injection that's going to cause a lump or swelling. It's just a little soreness. And that's, that's, that's normal with glutathione. Even B12, guys. It, it, yeah, if you guys take a high concentrate B12, it does the same thing. It stings a little bit. So if you want to get rid of that sting, just go half Hercules and half glutathione, 
and that will take the sting out. But again, you can mix all three together. You can mix two together, half and half, whatever you want to do it. They're all oil, they're all water based, so you can mix them together. What you don't do is you don't mix your injectable oil based with your water base. Water and oil doesn't mix, guys. You know it doesn't mix. It's gonna cause problems in your system. So you don't wanna do testosterone sipinate or testosterone propionate with the with the water based stuff. But as long as it's water on water or oil on oil, yeah, you can mix it together. Yep. Water will never mix. Yeah. You guys know that already. Oh yeah. It's a pain. Then so, you, go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I mean I, I think that's it for my topics as far as that okay. goes today. Yes. Yeah, so giveaway? Yeah, we got a giveaway. My last topic was my show. I actually did a show. I kept quiet about it. Me and John and, and Titan guys were real quiet about it. I competed November 9th. I competed November 9th in the Florida Gold Cup. I won the super heavyweight class and I also won the over 35 class, which qualified me to do a national qualifier, which means you guys will see Miami next week at Miami Nationals. A week from today, which is Friday, I'll be on stage at 10 o'clock am in miami for the bodybuilding pre-judging i'm very excited the diet's kicking my ass but i'm doing whatever it takes and the, and the, and the, and the, the titan stuff's definitely getting me through just like i told you guys before usually, usually a week out i'm depressed i'm laying on the floor my levels are good guys i'm walking around i'm talking i'm actually enjoying the prep they always say you have to be pissed off you have to be in a bad mood before you compete i always believe that too but i'm actually feel and look the best that i've looked um, right now, I'm 275. I'll be a little bit tighter by the show, but I'm ready to go. But I did compete last week, and I did uh, win both my classes, and I will be competing in Miami Nationals. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the congratulations I got, all the DMs. I really, really appreciate it. Again, I didn't post anything, so I could just focus. And again, if you guys could just let me focus going into the show. I do my own prep. I do my own diet. I appreciate the advice, but I don't need any coaching right now. I don't That's need right. any last minute tweaks to my posing. Lot. I got everything done. I appreciate everybody, and I appreciate all the support. You will see in Miami next week. That's it today for Titan Lifestyle. I don't know if John got anything else, but before we go, we got to give away some free shit. You know how we do. Right. What are we going to give away? What are we going to give away? Nice. So we're going to hashtag Titan Lifestyle to the 727-389-3220 number. Okay. Hashtag Titan Lifestyle will get you any of the free gear that tank top Drew has on. We have that in all sizes, different colors. We also got V-necks, all different types of things. Before we do end the show, though, I definitely want to give a shout out to Big Drew. He put a lot, a lot of effort, sacrifice, and stuck to the plan. We didn't talk to anybody about this. We did a documentary behind it, and we focused week by week asking him his diet, his training, what he was going through, and we didn't tell anybody because we didn't want the two cents. We did it exactly how we wanted to do it. Now we're going to go in this week, and Drew's going to make us proud again. I promise you guys. Right. So big ups to you, Drew. Thank you. you thank you. I appreciate it. Like we said, you can follow the plan, dude. We didn't hear no advice from anybody, and it was awesome. Yeah, it was so, great. It was great. Thank you. I really, pre I really appreciate it. John. I really appreciate Sharice. Like I said before, I don't know if you got the video I sent you. You guys have been taking such good care of me. I feel like I'm at home with Titan. I ain't going no damn where. This is my home now. I appreciate everything you guys are doing. Again, the video is going to be coming through. I've been documenting my whole prep. We're going to come out with a documentary. You're going to see my posing. You're going to see me working out. You're going to see my ups, my downs, my venting. You're going to see everything on there after the show next week. But until then, I'm ready to go back and refocus. I'm ready to go back in my cocoon. And again, just like John said, I don't need me two cents. I don't need anybody telling me what I need to do. I don't need to tell me what I need to take or water or carb depletion. I do everything on my own. I appreciate all the support, and I'm excited to do this. That's right. So, guys, keep it locked to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Press subscribe. Hit the all. All notifications on all our platforms. Big Drew. Every Friday, 2 p.m., Tight Lifestyle. I'm John from Titan Tuesday. I'll see you guys from Titan Talk Tuesday. I appreciate you guys all, man. Thank you, guys. See you next week. Tighten up.